Hey guys, uh, so um, just now an update on the booms and spars, uh, well the spars in general, um, and uh, so yeah, let's go see what we've got. So we got this wood today, 5 meters by 10 by 10 centimeters. That's going to become both booms. Um, the main boom is actually six by six, so I'm going to make the main boom five by eight, um, and the four boom it can be five by six. Uh, there's a slight bend in it, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to string a piece of rope or a string uh, between the bent ends, and then I can measure straight edge off that. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any twists, uh, and this was the nicest piece they had with no really big knots. Oh, there's a fairly big knot at the end there, but uh, I can work around that. Um, yeah, it's the brace I made for the broken four boom. Oh, it would probably work as it is because I was going to lash the spare battens onto the boom as well. But uh, while I'm at it, why not replace it? Uh, this is the four yard. Um, it got flipped over in the wind yesterday, so this first coat of paint got a little bit messed up. But um, I'll let it dry out and give it a sand before the second coat. I'm actually going to sling the... I don't know about the main sail yet, but the foresail. I'm going to sling back 5%, which is 17 centimeters or something. Um, so that the sail cants forward a bit, because the sheets of the foresail have a habit of catching on the, the mainsail. Um, we can do something with the mainsail too to prevent that, but I haven't got very much space down the back uh, for the sheets. You need to have like 120% um, at least uh, the distance between the battens, so that's about one meter, uh, so one meter twenty. Um, yeah, maybe I'll count the foresail, I mean the mainsail a little bit as well, both by 5%. We do tend to be a little bit heavy to windward, so um, that will help that as well, because it brings the centre of effort forward on both sails. Um, so yeah, we've, uh, oh, I'll, leave the, I'll leave the wind steering job for another video, but uh, yeah, the... Um, covers for the mainsail almost finished as well and um, so uh, we're going to be starting on this wood soon right okay guys I'll take you out on deck and show you and then I'll explain back here because uh, it's a little bit windy you probably won't be able to hear me So yeah, how I'm cutting it, uh, it's 10 centimeters wide uh, and the correct size for the booms are 40 millimeters on the fore boom and 47 on the main. So I'm cutting them to 45 and 55, um, that'll be minus a couple of millimeters for sanding and sawing. Um, and uh, I am going to make them a bit taller, about a centimeter taller each, 20% taller. Um, so they still got some flex in the correct direction, but they're a bit stronger. Um, yeah, so I've got to saw 10 centimeters thick, five centimeters long, five meters long now, and I've done 10 centimeters so far. Um, so yeah, but everything's marked out. There's a slightly bent side, um, but fortunately um, that will be on the top and bottom basically that I have to trim off anyway. So uh, I'll sort that out when I come to it. Um, the other side is within a millimetre straight, so that's fine. Um, the bent side is like 3.2 millimetres out or something like that in the middle. Um, but yeah, I'll sort that out with, um, you know, cutting it down. Um, 
So yeah, uh, now I just got a whole load of sawing to do and um, when there's a little bit more progress I'll make another update on the spars. Okay, bye bye.